Cada año, alrededor del planeta, miles de incendios amenazan ecosistemas y poblaciones. It's about the sometimes tens of thousands of families that are affected by these fires and these incidents. And this airplane is really great at putting down a massive volume of retardant or water enhancer. The ability to do that in one load versus two to eight loads is a big thing for the firefighters, both in the air and on the ground. But one of the big things we bring is hope. And we hear that from our people a lot, that when the super tanker arrives, it's like new, this new powerful tool brings hope. The super tanker means more than you could probably imagine to me. Um, it's, it's pretty much our baby. Um, I, I think of it as more than just a plane. It's, it's part of our life. So Super Tanker currently is based in Colorado Springs, Colorado in the United States. Uh, once we're mobilized, we can be anywhere in the world within usually about 20 hours. This aircraft is a one of a kind. It's in fact the only 747-400 firefighting aircraft in the world. Con una capacidad de carga de 73,000 litros, el avión vuela casi a la velocidad del sonido. Con base en Bolivia, Chile o Brasil, Supertanker puede alcanzar cualquier parte de Latinoamérica en menos de cuatro horas. We have uh, five tanks on each side and ten tanks total, and we can carry 19,200 gallons. And we also carry a compressed air behind the recoil tank, and we use the compressed air to push the liquid through our four valves, two on each side. And that's how we do the drop. A pesar de su tamaño, Super Tanker puede volar a apenas 61 metros sobre las llamas y reducir su velocidad a tan solo 233 kilómetros por hora para descargar agua, retardante o gel. So it's not the typical design that Boeing intended for it. It's flying much slower, much lower. Uh, it's dropping over 170,000 pounds of weight in less than 13 seconds. 23 vuelos de un SEAT, el avión bombero más común en América Latina, o seis vuelos de un BAE, son necesarios para igualar un vuelo de supertanker. Our aircraft is a pressurized system using four different valves, so we can adjust the number of the valves that we use and, now, and the amount of the pressure that we exert on the uh, tank, and we can also adjust the speed of the aircraft and the altitude of a drop altitude, and we can adjust the impact on the ground. And once we get to drop site, and they will tell me a coverage level and what type of a drop that they're going to do, and I will adjust my uh, panel according to their request. Super Tanker puede realizar varias descargas segmentadas o una descarga continua de 3 kilómetros con un impacto mínimo y controlado sobre la vegetación. As we evolve and as we fly the aircraft, the maintenance program has to change. It is significantly different than the initial design uh, that Boeing intended for the aircraft just due to the fact of the environment we're flying through with the smoke, the ash, um, the low altitude, etc. A 747 typically would see between 20 and 30 cycles generally um, in a 30-day period. Uh, this airframe in a 40-day period has done over 140 cycles. So in comparison, we've done almost four times the amount of normal cycles any other normal 747 would see with it being in a firefighting mode. This is the only crew in the world that has taken an aircraft of this size and magnitude um, and turned it into a firefighting tool. Cada mañana, el equipo de logística local y la tripulación del supertanker planifican las misiones. 
Para optimizar las misiones, un bombero experimentado de nuestro equipo vuela en una avioneta guía para indicar a los pilotos del supertanker la zona y el tipo de descarga necesaria. So, if you have a lead plane, our time over the fire is sometimes five or six minutes maximum. So we're very efficient that way. We come in, we, we meet with the lead plane, they show us the target, we drop on that target. Now we can go back to the tanker base and get more retardant or more water and get back to that fire very quickly rather than flying around the fire to determine where we should drop. Si por algún motivo la visión fuese cancelada, Supertanker tiene la capacidad de aterrizar sin necesidad de descargarse, lo cual significa un gran ahorro para nuestros clientes. Of course there are risks involved in the job that we do with this aircraft. But we train for it and it's it's a calculated risk. And, and of course, we're still here, so obviously we're, we're doing okay. Not, not every pilot is cut out to do that. So I don't like to think of them as crazy. I like to think of them as very confident in what they can do and practiced with what they can do uh, and their pilot abilities. There's a bond and a commitment um, of this company and its employees and the pilots to be desperately effective. It's amazing to see the local people, um, how they react to the airframe, the, uh, how they react to us, uh, to the crews. It's almost like a family. You know, by the time you're done with a mission, you, you almost feel like you're part of the community. Everywhere I go, I get reaction from other people. Thank you for helping us. Thank you for coming to help, uh, help our country. So that's one thing I found out that very satisfying. It's not a risk at that point. You know, when you think about that, and you think about what you're doing, it's not a risk anymore. It's, it's, it's a passion. You know, it really is. It becomes a passion. When you, when you get that sort of feedback on the job you're doing, it's, it's incredible. Super Tanker, regando esperanza donde sea necesario.